take me out for some hot dogs. right I am in Arizona and you know in Arizona we're raising raw dogs that's right we're raising raw dogs in Arizona and we're here at Pat's they've been here for 60 years and they're your traditional hot dog spot you know you got the Sonora dogs which are very popular here but this is your traditional hot dog and chili dog spot and you know when you come to Arizona you're expecting good chili so I'm gonna see if that chili reaches my expectations as we go raw dogging in Tucson at Pat's Chili Dog. Second hot dog with chili and cheese. Okay, I'll get two hot dogs with chili and cheese, one mild, one hot. No mustard, no onions, just chili and cheese. And I want to order a fries. Just a little, just a small fry. <laughs> All right, here we are. We got the hot dog here. You know, two, Pat's is a Tucson institution. And they have the hot dogs, kind of the dirty water style, steamed up, buns, feel good, uh, nice soft bun, uh, good bun to dog ratio. But here's where the most important part is. How does it taste? And there's a little bit of a, little bit of a browning, which is pretty good for a hot dog. But here's how it really tastes. This is a solid double. Doesn't have quite the snap, but it has a good taste, good texture. And it's basically, it fills all the basic needs of a hot dog. They're called Patch Chili Dogs, and they have two different types of chili. They have the spicy, and they have the mild. We're gonna try the mild first now. First off, two problems I see right away. The struggle slice, no bueno. What you want to see from a chili dog is either shred it or the um, cheese whiz. You don't want to see the slice. The slice, that typically is not a sign of a good chili dog. Secondly, it's got beans. And I personally prefer my chili dogs without beans. So it's got, it's, it's got an O2 count. Let's see if the chili actually tastes good and they could maybe get something out of this. Okay, the chili does taste good. It's a swinging bunt that lands just over the head of the first baseman for a single. Now, here is the spicy chili. Now, it's the same way, got the chili beans. I see though a little more meat in this one. And they say this is a spicier chili. And you know, when you come down to Arizona, you expect good chili. So, let's see how this one rates. As once again, it has an O2 count. This has a kick to it. It's a Tony Gwynn single up, single between the shortstop and dirt baseman. Wow, it has a kick to it. If they used better cheese or used better, um, didn't have beans, I probably 
would have given this a much, much higher score. Awesome. Now here's a bag of fries. This is what I guess a small fry is. A lot of fries, you like, you like to see that. Now how they taste, I like these shoestring type fries. I'm gonna give this a 7.8. Well, you know, the right spice can bring up a hot dog score, you know? That, those two chili dogs had a lot working against it. I don't like beans and I prefer them to have like the shredded cheese or the cheese whiz. But they both scored. And that's why this place has been an institution for 60 years. Here at Pat's Chili Dogs in Tucson. Now, I'm going to be on the road again. And you never know when I'm going next. And when I'm on the road, of course I have my raw Dogging on the Road shirts. You can get that along with the classic raw dog shirt or the ugly sweater when it is available. And that thing doesn't, that thing flies off the shelves and then it's gone and you won't see it again for several months. But remember, it will always come back. Just like I'm gonna be hitting the road again. So click like, subscribe. Uh, Raymond here, he told me about this place and he helped me out with the shooting. And who knows, I might even be grabbing fans in the future, more fans to help shoot raw doggy. Because that's what I'm all about. It's finding the best hot dogs I can find across the United States and the world. So I'll see you next time to keep raw doggy. Take me out for some hot dogs. Get me one that's only plain. No mustard or horror ketchup. I'll know what the dog is really about. And it's hope that this is a good one. Maybe a home run or a double. But if it sucks, it will be a strikeout and not worthy of my taste buds. <laughs> For the first time today, I had a stoolie help me out. Hi, I'm Raymond. Say what your name is and uh, what your Twitter handle is. My name's Raymond, and my Twitter handle is KillerA. Thanks. Thanks again, Raymond. Yeah. On the road again. Gee, I can't wait to get on the road again. Going to all dogging places that I've never been. And I can't wait to get on the road again. You don't have to wait for me to get on the road again. You can order this nice new shirt, raw dogging on the road. And when I'm on the road again, you better believe I'll be carrying this shirt with me. And you can get it right now at the Barstool store.